Kom Hey YouTube, Coppersan here. Dawn Warrior always was a well liked class, but it almost tripled in popularity after the Ignition update. Why exactly did this happen and what makes this class such a popular pick nowadays? Let's find out in why everyone plays Dawn Warrior. Ever since the introduction of Dawn Warriors, they were considered a powerful class even when they could only reach level 120. Later the class got revamped, gaining new sun and moon stances, as well as a bunch more damage. But the class was always a bit ping reliant with their stun switching, which would hurt their DPS if you were playing on really high ping. After the ignition update, there still is a little bit of damage loss if you're like on 200 ping, but this issue has mostly been solved. Also, his bossing attacks used to launch him in the air, which could be quite annoying when fighting certain bosses. But now, after the ignition update, this class doesn't even have their own special bossing attack anymore. There's just one skill that grows over time and fat stacks on stacks. The ignition update introduced the stacking mechanic which adds another layer of depth to this class but it didn't make it feel too complicated. Getting stacks is easy and one of your stacking related skills can be set off to fire automatically for even more mindless grinding. Still from a theme perspective I don't really understand why they added the purple space theme on top of the sun and moon theme but hey the skill looks cool so it's whatever I guess. <laughs> I think the main reason why so many maplers started playing this class to either main or to make a bossing mule is because it doesn't really have any real weaknesses. Their mobbing is fantastic with big AOE attacks that you can cycle through, really big attacks for a warrior class actually. There is a place down summon and your main bombing attack is just one button. It's easy, powerful and your attacks hit all over the map. Especially your soul eclipse that summons the sun in the background. This attack is screen right. The flare slash passive explosion is a great addition to your skill arsenal. Rift of Damnation is amazing for mobbing and bossing as it changes your main attacking skill to sticks crossing which is very powerful and very big. And the new cosmos skill is another great new addition to your arsenal as well. You simply grind by jumping around and swinging your sword left and right side Cycling through your fifth job skills, not that many buttons are needed, which makes this class very easy, very simple to play. So, mobbing is amazing, and their bossing is equally great. This character, as I'm playing it right now, has 7k stats, and with barely any node levels, it was easily able to take down the first three kills from the Abyss bosses. Do keep in mind though that I did get all those links, and I have a fat 8.7k Legion buff. My Solar Slash boost is only level 11 though, so there is that to compensate. But still, there is no lack of damage with this class whatsoever. And because you have your own bind, you free up a node slot to fit in even more damage buffs early on. Their nodes are very simple, by the way. You just need one trio with Solar Slash, Cosmic Burst, and Cosmic Shower, and then you're done. It doesn't really get much easier. So even with my weak Solar Slash, I was still easily able to slice through those bosses. Dawn Warriors got plenty of base stats, like Critical Rate and Ignore Defense, which really helps a ton. And they have a very powerful debuff called True Sight. By itself, the skill reduces affected monsters' defense by 10% and increases your final damage against those monsters by 5%. But the fun doesn't end there. With your Hyper Skills, you can add another 10% defense reduction and a 10% Elemental Resistance reduction, which is even more powerful, making your debuff actually quite sold out in most bossing parties. Dawn Warriors also have multiple dashes and invincibility frames, making it easy to get out of those sticky situations. Their hyper skill dash has two charges that can be used within 5 seconds of each other and only a 45 second cooldown, so it's up quite often. You can also use your other dash skill or your hyper skill dash is the one that give iframes to for example dodge lotus lasers, which makes this phase super easy for those maples looking for an early game bossing view. So with 7k stats, no familiars, a really bad inner ability and 8.7k legion and most link skills, you're able to defeat bosses like Kale Spear easily without having to even deal with the split mechanic. I actually forgot to use the angelic buster link skill, but that would have helped our damage even more. And like always, I first bind the boss and then I realize like, oh wait, I gotta actually buff and debuff the boss. So then I'm a bit slow, I'm a bit late, but still a lot of damage, so it's easy pickings. Von Bon was also a walk in the park. You can use the dashes to get away from the orbs or jumps in case your shadow that, th that Von Bon teleports you to leaves you in a bad spot. And when you're facing the queen, your sticks crossing can damage through damage flexion and you can use your iframes or Cygnus Knight's will to dodge the zombify attack. You can't just tank the pink breath though like some other classes like uh, Paladin, Mihal and Shade. Learn that the hard way. The only boss this class really struggles with a little bit are bosses like Chaos Akum. Where the Dawn Warrior is sort of suffering from success because of all the AoE, you kill all the arms at the same time, causing Sukum to go into rage mode. <laughs> There's just too much AoE, you're sort of too successful there. So this video is a bit shorter and that's because this class just has very few flaws. It's easy to play, has great damage, very easy notes, decent mobility and survivability. They have their own bind and they're not gonna get any nerfs, at least in the next 6 months. So the Dawn Warrior is a solid investment for anyone looking for an easy to play and fun main or bossing mule. 
The only downside that I can think of is that this class their link skill and legion effect, which gives flat HP, aren't that great for a lot of classes. But besides that, this class is in an amazing spot right now, and everyone should definitely check it out if they want to. What do you think of the Dawn Warrior yourself, and which other class should be in the next Why No One or Why Everyone Plays? Let me know in the comments, and as always, many thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Special thanks to Niels de Comic, Raar Maar Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Oss, Terry Kim, Varese, Cody Mora, Wai Lee, History Cannon, Backspace, OTI, Safronix, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Knife Sue, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Digby, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Menchaca, Ratius, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Afterlord underscore MS, Striker Elk, Tidal One Pun, Radical Jaws, Riser RU, Sir Tito, 655, Matthias Simerson, PC Game Life, The Passenger, Martin Panzik, Conrad Cristalis, Ace Light, Mr. Anark, Ben Wolf, Max Bernhardt, Muka 1017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Priscilla, Brennan Cam, Vague Botnet, Fek. Victor Sundström, Simak Only, Rashid Alarudi, Gerlando Balavia, Gianfranco Calderon Canavero, Lucky Beats, Matinho Dev, Gummy Bullet, Lord Fazil, Spots D. Kaiser, Zunnen, That Archie Guy, Grogro, Grable Egg, and Louis Bento Brandao. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, and as always, happy Mayplay.